I was interested in, in kids that were doing creative things when their parents weren't watching. And I happened to meet a boy who was interested in graffiti and he introduced me to somebody else. And I was fascinated by the idea of painting on trains. I thought it was an amazing thing that they were doing. It was dangerous and it was illegal. And they were risking their lives even for their art. And so for me, I was a photojournalist. This was an interesting subject to photograph. For me, the approach was a, a different way. I was uh, writing first, and after I started to change the, with the camera. I didn't paint anymore because I was no interest, and I was interested more on photography, and this is uh, what I represent. I'm not representing any graffiti scene. I, rep I just create with the photo. So uh, I started more or less like uh, Alex. Uh, I started writing first and photography just came naturally. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it basically. I was, I, I was a professional photographer working for a newspaper at the time. And the first person that I, the, when I met like Dandi, who was a important writer at the time, he recognized my name because he had seen a photograph in the New York Post, which is the paper I was working for. It had my credit underneath it, and it had one of his tags in the background of the photo. And he had cut out that picture and pasted it into his book. And so when he first met me, he understood immediately that I was uh, not a cop. I was not a policeman. I was a photographer. And part of what the writers wanted was fame, so the idea that maybe I could take a picture and it could get in a newspaper was important. So that was another connection for me. And then I always took pictures of, of their work and I tried to give it to them. So they wanted my photographs, so they were, they would tell me when they had done new work on the trains. My approach was a bit different because I was already inside. My difficult is uh the people didn't understand what I want to do. So they was very like, uh, are you really going to take only pictures? Because uh, why are you coming to risk your life to just take pictures? Doesn't make any sense for us, you know? And I insisted they, after they, when they saw the, the, the result, it was uh, more interest. But um, to approach the writers from my, my side was a bit very different than the Marta. Because I was, uh, I know a lot of people already and uh, the only thing that was very weird was the fact that I was taking only pictures. For a writer, is to go inside the yard. Uh, it was a, uh, and not painting was a, uh, was wow. Why are you doing that? So it doesn't make any sense. For me, the picture that I really like, and and for many different reasons, is not one that I took in the yards, but one that I took in Dandy's room, and where you see four or five. I'm, I'm not, I can't remember how many. Five, maybe four. Yeah. I think it's five, yeah. Um, guys sitting around, and they have markers, they have a radio, and they're hanging out for hours in Dandy's room in Brooklyn, um, and they're sketching in their black books. And I spent the entire day with these guys, and first of all, that was a really hard picture to take because of, there wasn't good light in the room. I actually had to bring lights and light it, and so... As a photographer, <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of that picture because I think that I managed to get a good picture in difficult lighting conditions. But also, there's so many details in that photograph. Um, and, and the idea that these guys were so intent that they could spend hours just thinking about the colors that they were using and the design that they were doing. It was a lot of people actually, on the first place, they was dumping me like very, very easy. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. But if, because, uh, you know, they, they don't care basically about that time. I mean, talking about like uh, 10, more than 10 years ago, like 15 years ago.
they didn't they didn't care that much about the the all the movement about got in get out uh, that type, that stuff I was into it was more interested in just the panels and that's it which I don't I didn't care at all I just care to see the faces of adrenalinic situation very intense moment very scared people very dangerous places dirty it was a different different very different than Marta that picture really led me to continue to document graffiti in New York and and we're talking about more than 30 years ago because this exhibition is the three of us represent three different generations really and that's why it's called trains and generations so I'm representing like the 80s we got like the 80s and 90s and the yeah. thousands here <laughs> just in case you didn't realize that and so that's that was the theme of this exhibit and so when I was shooting I really didn't understand exactly what was going on these guys are there was like a lot more known about yeah. graffiti by the time they started shooting. So they're they're taking more it conscious. to a yeah, yeah. So they're taking it to a more like a different level yeah. actually. Yeah, that what she said actually is very is very interesting because the fact it was a different generation. It was the beginning, and uh, me and Smart are just the next generation of uh, taking the pictures with more conscious means we were. I'm, Especially me, I don't know much more, but I'm talking about myself. I'm not documenting anything. Just taking a part of a moment of acting, uh, of people doing uh, something. And I consider it like a really important as a acting of uh, art, like a performance. Like a modern way, like a, probably no one understand. Like, a, I mean, I'm talking about the society, I don't understand. Um. So I'm, a lot of my photography has to do like, what is this? How is it done? What tools do they use? What techniques do they use? And when they were sitting around talking in their room, I learned a lot about that. And, and the idea that they would even let me come into their room and take pictures was like represented, it was important to me that, that they trusted me for that. But, so. you know, but what I'm trying to, to say in my pictures, like, uh, I just aesthetically and uh, taking the moment outside the situation where no one's seen. No one are like a normal people can see a tunnel uh, and people walking in the tunnel because it's kind of insane that people, why are you going to do that? But I like that. I like the scenario. I love the scenario, I love the movement. I like the fact it's illegal. That's a big part of my work because it makes unaccessible to everybody. That's why I don't take pictures of the street, because it's access to everybody. My work is specific in this, what I'm showing now, is illegal. And that part is, uh, makes me more, not unique, but it makes me more uh, the one just going there, because if it's illegal, not many people can do it. You know? I, I love the tags, <laughs> but I don't love the tags every, on every single thing that I see. For example, I don't particularly want to see a tag on somebody else's sculpture. But I think tags are beautiful. And I have done three books about tagging. One of them's called Tag Town. I, you can't separate the tags from the pieces. It's all part of the same culture. But that doesn't mean that you have to like every single piece and every single tag. I mean, I don't like every single piece of graffiti. I like some better than others. Some are, some are better than others. Some are more skillful than others. Like any kind of art. It's like a huge range of art out there. My, my point of view, I'm telling you, my point of view, I don't care. I don't care what the people say. I don't really care. And I, I got really mad because the people got all different point of view. If you tell me this is good or this is bad, who are you? Well, I mean. The war, isn't it good doing a war in 2013? Killing people everywhere, starvation? What's the point? I don't, I don't ask if it's, I mean, if you come to say, oh, this is wrong, well, because your point of view is right, no. So, shut up. I don't like to see, like in New York City, there are buildings that the entire side of the building is covered with a big Calvin Klein advertisement, for example, that they're printed 
It's yeah. not done they by don't hand. Ask you if you want it. They no, I mean there's so many ugly ads everywhere, yeah. including in the subway now in New York City. They're putting ads right on the subway. So what's the what's so, the difference between when you do advertising in the subway and paint the, the train? I mean, on well, the, the difference is that somebody's right. paying. Yeah, exactly. it, it all so has to do I with like, like when I see a, a advertising on the subway. I don't like it. No. I prefer to get paint because it's more natural. It's more. Like you, somebody's you a, done it. Yeah, a normal <laughs> it's person. It's creative. Not company. It's not money yeah. involved. Uh, it's more creative, creative, you know. But no everybody's entitled to their like, opinion. No, they don't care. It's, you know? 